Hello again guys, this is the Don with yet another Minecraft video and as you can no doubt tell I have a new addition to my computer desk I have a new microphone so hopefully my voice shall come through a tad clearer now it should sound a little bit nicer and um, hopefully I won't say too many ums to spoil the whole experience but anyway let's continue with the video which I am presenting today which is of my block vaporizer as you can probably tell by the great big sign in front of me um, it is a bug which it's possible you've seen before um, or I should say the machine utilizes a bug which you've probably seen before I think the bug is less of a bug and more of a temporary fix notch placed in the game to prevent the pistons from doing their duplication bug like uh, so many people were utilizing but essentially if I place a block uh, right where my pointer is now directed uh, it will be vaporized and um, I can't put things there very fast or ultra fast but I can put things there fairly fast and you'll notice if I put things there too quickly, it does glitch out, but that's why I have this pressure pad there, which um, depowers that torch and sets the whole motion back in process, or process back in motion. <laughs> um, but this is the circuitry behind it. Um, as you can see, it's pretty basic. It's uh, essentially a sticky piston and a regular piston, um, both powered by redstone or depowered by redstone simultaneously which um, at the same time as one of those pistons is powered again and uh, me placing the block there uh, power means that that redstone torch will power the block that I place there very briefly uh, which will allow the signal to pass through to this wire heading around and allow this block here uh, to deactivate that torch there at the same time as it's powering this piston right here so it'll retract this piston and pull that piston out uh, which kills the block um, and how that's built or how I find the easiest way to build it is like so And then we have a regular or a sticky piston right here and a regular piston right here. We have a block which can be anything right there. We have a torch over there and some redstone heading around there. And so now can pretty much see that in motion and if I place it there too quickly then that resets it. Um, I made a little machine just to demonstrate the concept a bit better um, and I found some interesting facts about moving blocks as well too. Uh, basically if I flick that switch I have a clock underground here which is um, making a cobblestone generator push upwards and you can see it doesn't destroy pictures or torches that are sitting on the cobblestone although it does sometimes destroy ladders which I find to be an interesting contradiction um, only when the chunk updates though so if I walk too far this way and head back I'm not doing it for now, but for whatever reason, it sometimes falls off. But I haven't had all of the rest of this stuff fall off yet, so I don't know. Maybe if I place a torch there. No, I, it doesn't want to do it for me today. Alright, well, never mind. It's apparently working for the time being. But the reason that the cobblestone generator just keeps on going is because the cobblestones when they reach the top here 
are being destroyed by these block destroyers. And I thought that this might be an interesting concept for an elevator, but um, of course the elevator will only go up and not back down again, so I have yet to work out how to bring it back down again, but yes, I did think that would be an interesting idea, although probably not for four cobblestone uh, paths, only for a single one, because you can see they don't come up consistently, even when I have the clock down the bottom set to be identical. So, separately is still the way of the game by the looks of it. Um, and that's about it. That, that's really all I had to update on the redstone front for the time being. I held off on recording this video for a little while just until I got my new microphone, but I've got it now and hopefully that comes through okay. If there's anything specific people would like to see me produce, or attempt to create, uh, please, by all means, let me know. Um, I think that's really all I wanted to cover for this particular video. Uh, catch you later. I think I need to work on my placement of my new microphone somewhat. Um, sorry about that.